Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where we dive deep into all things Apple betas and updates. If you're like me, you've been glued to system settings waiting for the next Tahoe tweak. Well, Apple just dropped the release candidate for macOS Tahoe 26.1, that's build 25B77, on October 28, 2025. This is basically the final dress rehearsal before the full public launch next week. We've scoured Reddit's macOS beta plus Mac rumors forums and X for the latest user reports. Today, we'll break down the key changes, those sweet bug fixes, and yeah, the bugs that are still crashing the party. If you're on the developer or public beta program, this RC is out now, but should you install it? Let's jump in. First off, this isn't the massive feature drop, it's a refinement build, focusing on polish after Beta 4. But there are some user-facing tweaks that Tahoe fans will love. Number 1. Liquid glass customization got a glow-up. You can now toggle between a clearer, more transparent look, or a tinted, frosted vibe for system surfaces like the menu bar and windows. It's in system settings, under appearance, then liquid glass intensity. Reddit users are raving about this. One post called it the fix we've been begging for since beta 1, letting you dial back that glassy overload if it's too distracting. No more one-size-fits-all transparency. Next one was FaceTime audio improvements for spotty connections. If you've ever been on a call with that echoey lag, this RC stabilizes it. Better noise suppression and clearer voice on Wi-Fi or cellular hotspots. Apple didn't shout it from the rooftops, but forum threads on Mac rumors confirm it's smoother, especially for remote workers. Under the hood, groundwork for third-party AI integrations. Nothing flashy yet, but code dives on X show API hooks for devs to plug into Apple Intelligence shortcuts more seamlessly. Expect this to shine in future updates. Overall, it's subtle, but if you're deep in Tahoe, these make daily use feel more refined. Tahoe's betas have been a roller coaster, but 25B77 squashes some real pain points. Apple's notes are light on details, but community feedback fills in the gaps. The top fix for that infamous Mac Studio M3 Ultra upgrade blocker from Tahoe 26.0 is gone. If you were stuck on Sequoia because of a hardware check fail, this RC lets you upgrade smoothly. Mac Rumors forums lit up with relief. One user said, Finally, my beast is Tahoe ready. Security updates are bundled too, patching a single but critical vulnerability. From Reddit folks report fewer memory leaks in Electron apps like VS Code, and SMB drive mounting is rock solid now. No more random disconnects for external SSD users. Apple's also teasing better device management for IT pros, like smoother 802.1x setups. If you're an enterprise, this is huge. Bottom line, performance feels snappier, with beta testers noting quicker spotlight indexing and fewer kernel panics. No beta's perfect, and 25B77 isn't immune. Here's the hit list of lingering issues. 1. UI inconsistencies persist. Control Center and notification widgets are stuck in light mode, ignoring your dark theme choice. A thread in Apple Communities calls it a theme nightmare with over 200 upvotes. Safari tabs still feel wonky for some. Compact mode vanished, and reverting to 18.6 is a hack that's not ideal. 2. Audio Gremlins. While FaceTime improved, system-wide crackling lingers, especially in music app. R slash macOS has posts about uneven volumes and playback waking from sleep. One user regrets updating entirely, saying it's pretty but buggy. Bluetooth latency hits peripherals too. Mice and keyboards stutter on M-series chips. 3. Hardware quirks. Intel Mac users on the edge, like 2019 MacBook Pros, report hotspotting fails and Wi-Fi drops. Little Snitch blocks connections until updated. And Launchpad's removal still dividing the community. R slash Apple threads are full of bring it back, please. From Mac rumors, sleep issues force hard reboots, and raw file handling and disk utility is busted for pre-Tahoe DMGs. So, macOS Tahoe 26.1 RC is a solid step forward. Smarter customization, key fixes for M3 Ultras, and stability gains that make Tahoe feel production ready. But those UI and audio bugs, they're the beta attacks. Expect patches in the full release. What about you? Installed yet? Hit or miss on Liquid Glass? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.